Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. In light of Gary Gensler's unwillingness to comply with congressional oversight requests, we need to know why FSC Chair Patrick McHenry didn't subpoena him. Moreover, will XRP pivot to a stable coin when the XRPL embraces the predicted EMF? One final question remains, what is Australian DNA scientist Taurus Drew's major objective in the crypto sector, given that he has made a strong case on XRP? To find out the rest, read on to the conclusion. According to data from XRPL Investigate Bitham XRP Cafe has led every other XRPL NFT project with a landslide margin about its 30-day transaction volume, notably in secondary sales. The XRP Cafe observed 52,909 cent NFTs, according to Bitsoft data, totaling 11,845 sold units. This is a 79.75% rise in secondary market sales from the number recorded on October 15. The total volume of sales at XRP Cafe was 336,900 XRP, or more than $196 million at today's exchange rates. Meanwhile, XRP's closest NFT project to XRP Cafe saw 2,166 sales of its secondary tokens. More than $175 million was made in XRP sales, while the 19,396 newly issued NFTs commanded a volume of 301,048 XRP. However, the third NFT contender is Solidgenic. Only 98 transactions worth 30,464 XRP were recorded on secondary markets. Since XRP cafes have done so well in comparison to other NFT markets, the development team decided to hold a celebration on the X platform. Nonetheless, while XRP Cafe lid and the 30-day secondary sales number the project trailed behind when compared the statistic for primary sales. To clarify, secondary sales entail collectors reselling already existing NFTs, whereas primary sales refer to the original selling of newly created NFTs directly by the creator. However, despite having a much higher total number of newly created NFTs, XRP Cafe came in at number two in main sales. Exciting news for crypto fans, the Bybit exclusive campaign gives you a chance to win up to 55 US dollars T and an iPhone 15. Here's how you can get the most out of your participation. Start by creating an account through my referral link to claim a 20 US dollars T Rewards Center coupon. Second, click join now in the event and deposit 100 US dollars for equivalent and get 15 withdrawal USD T and 3 tickets to win even more USD T. Before committing any funds, please click the join now button. Third, withdraw 10 UST after making your first trade on Bybit and receive an additional 10 US dollars T trading bonus in the reward center if you withdraw $10,000 worth of derivatives during the first 15 days. Keep in mind that this is exclusively for users who have passed the initial deposit verification. Don't pass up the chance to increase your cryptocurrency holdings and potentially win some amazing rewards. To get started, please click on my referral link. In the video's description, you'll see a referral link. Hurry! Between October 26th and December 30th, you can take advantage of this special offer. Now is the time to jump into cryptocurrency trading with Bybit. John Deaton, an attorney advocating for XRP, has criticized U.S. Representative Patrick McHenry, the committee's chair, for failing to subpoena Gary Gensler, the chair of the Securities and Exchange Commission for failing to comply with congressional oversight requests. Even though I've always backed Patrick McHenry, I'm disappointed that he hasn't issued a subpoena against Gary Gensler, who Deaton claims has ignored every single request for information from Congress. For blocking congressional scrutiny, Deaton, who represents thousands of XRP holders in the SEC v. Ripple lawsuit, claims that Congress should have issued repeated subpoenas to Gensler. The prominent attorney made the remark in response to a tweet from Brian Costello, a columnist for the New York Post. In a Tuesday tweet, Costello stated that the FSC chair had allowed Gensler to act as China's shield in the American financial markets. According to Costello, the action helped China in both economic and military terms. 
He specified McHenry as the single person who has the capabilities to shine light on the Biden administration's defending China via the SEC. Are you willing to do what's best for the American people and the brave men and women who serve to defend them? Last month, House Republicans questioned SEC Commissioner Robert Costello and threatened to subpoena the agency for information about its efforts to regulate environmental, social, and governance issues. House Oversight and Accountability Committee Chair James Comer wrote a letter accusing Gensler of impeding congressional oversight. Comer warned that if Gensler does not cooperate with the committee's scrutiny, Congress may be compelled to use compulsory methods such as subpoenas. In a similar vein, McHenry criticized Gensler in September for ignoring demands for congressional scrutiny. One example is the FSCS's request for the SEC chair to provide information about his communications with FTX's former CEO, Sam Beckman Fried. As I indicated, our patience is wearing thin. The SEC is not exceptional or beyond the reach of the law. When questioned by Congress, other financial authorities have always acted in accordance with their wishes. McHenry If Gensler denies that the SEC responds to Congress's oversight procedures, the FSC chair has threatened to issue a subpoena. Despite the SEC chairman's persistent failure to comply with congressional oversight efforts, McHenry has not yet initiated any subpoena against Looted. Recent discussions in the XRP community have moved attention to the XLS 30. Demodification, which, if approved by the XRP governance, will include a native automated market maker for the XRP ledger. The creator of the Digital Perspectives media channel commented on the forthcoming hmm, wondering if it may make XRP more of a stable coin. Furthermore, he questioned whether or not the implementation of the automated market maker would qualify XRP as a member of the BIS Group 1B assets, which are stable coins that the BIS or other institutions can use as a means of payment. Facilitations The first thing the decision makers on the inquiry panels said in response was that XRP's core properties remain unchangeable. According to the XRP ILS creators, XRP will always be recognized as the native coin representing decentralization and free trading. In light of the XRP LM's efforts to stabilize the currency, we appreciate your patience. Liquidity providers, according to Vickers, can profit from the increased trading activity brought on the volatility in AM is. The developers of XRP refute the idea that the XRP ILHM might turn XRP into a stable coin, citing the technical impossibility and lack of rationale for such a change. He stressed the AMM's role as an alternative exchange for XRP and XRPL tokens. However, one XRP community member has argued that the coin's perceived stability and value, rather than its real stability, could be useful. XRP's value is intended to be reasonably steady during currency transfers, similar assets like PA XG, which tracks the gold price. Makers were correct in dismissing this idea. To restate, Ripple's ODL makes seconds of stability meaningless. The crypto author claimed that achieving a constant value for XRP is unnecessary, especially considering the quick transaction times inherent in Ripple's Odsal system. In response to the claim that XRP's value must be stable for efficient value transfer, he argued that fluctuations within a few seconds are meaningless. The stability of XRP and XLM has been cited in official documents, according to another prominent member of the community. Keep in mind that in a November 2021 paper titled CBDCs for Cross-Border Payments, the World Bank referred to XRP and XLM as stable coins. Unfazed, Micros brushes off these claims as evidence of the widespread ignorance of technology among the world's largest corporations, governmental agencies, and nonprofits. He noted that many people still use the wrong names for XRP and the Ripple network. What is XRP's primary function in the cryptocurrency industry? That is today's burning question. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get additional updates about the current occurrences as regards to XRP. In particular, Drew stated that XRP investors shouldn't count on getting rich by sitting on their hands. The scientist claims that getting rich is not the point of XRP. 
Drew also pointed out that gaining notoriety as a result of your XRP involvement is a positive unintended consequence. However, he does not think that this is XRP's only function, Horace sketched, meantime, continued by saying. The fact that XRP has a greater significance. He said XRP was created in response to the World Economic Forum and German engineer-turned-economist Klaus Schwab's laudable reset plan. Drew claims that the World Economic Forum wants to limit people's freedoms and exert power over them. According to him, XRP's main objective is to prevent Klaus Schwab and the World Economic Forum from carrying out a great reset that will enslave and control humanity. The researchers went on to say that a global currency that is both anonymous and decentralized, like XRP, could serve as a deterrent against such plots. Some of the crypto enthusiasts who responded to Drew's claims agreed with him, but others had different opinions. One person argued that if XRP were to make individuals rich, it would bring it in line with more traditional fiat currencies. At the same time, another user said that XRP wasn't a deterrent to the dictatorial system that the World Economic Forum supposedly intended to implement. This ex-users mentioned that XRP stands as the centralized system that intends to fight payment behemoth swift. One commenter noted that XRP is a digital asset with great appeal in the payment industry due to attractive features like speed and cost-effectiveness. Another commenter noted that Ripple, the payment firm closely associated with XRP, is a partner of a corporation with the World Economic Forum. Leaders in the payments industry have predicted that XRP will shake up the status quo of the financial system. Drew's thoughts align with these claims. If you enjoyed it, Hit that like button, then subscribe and bell icon. See you soon, bye.